More than 50 years ago, the U.S. Surgeon General released a landmark study linking tobacco use to lung and cardiovascular disease. Its harmful effects are now widely recognized, but few people realize smoking can also be hazardous to your bones. Smoking does affect every organ in your body. Not, it doesn't exclude the bones. People who use tobacco face a higher risk of fracture due to decreased bone density or osteoporosis. Most impacted are bones in the wrist, hip, and spine. Should a bone break require surgery, it can take twice as long to heal. It's a significant difference. You know, not just in these studies that I've seen where it may, you know, take 20 weeks to heal a long bone, which would be like a femur or a tibia and it may extend that healing time for up to six to eight weeks. Additionally, there's potential for compromised blood flow, which deprives tissue of oxygen. It can complicate surgery and recovery. Which again, puts the incisions at risk of not healing, which would make them more prone to get infections. Kicking the habit even two weeks before surgery and not smoking for at least six weeks after may help healing. The oxygen and the healing of your skin, I think is, is very, acutely affected by how much you're smoking at the time you're having your actual procedure. If you need a spark to put down tobacco, do it for your bones sake. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.